What happens when instead of speaking voice, we speak silence? Because that's really what our course was investigating, the fruits, the challenges, and the rewards of speaking silence. Um, Trisha Taylor, I'm a SINS major. I'd say it's a lot less structured. We got to have a lot of freedom in our writing. We were encouraged to spend time alone to contemplate, kind of have it come to us. My topic was mostly nature and how nature has changed me or how I feel about nature. And so I got to pick out some of my books and I picked Mary Oliver's poems, some contemplative journals about people that spend time in nature like Emerson, Walden. They were all awesome and they were beautiful and the places that we went were really inspiring. They were a lot different because we went to like a monastery, a Catholic monastery, and then we went to Loretto, which was like Christian Nun Retreat Center, and we went to Zen Mount Furnace Mountains Zen Retreat Center, which is like kind of a Buddhist retreat center. But every place we went was so beautiful, and the people there were really nice and welcoming. We were all supposed to spend time on our own to contemplate and be silent, but then at night, all the groups, we all got together and shared some of our writings or what stood out during the day. My name is Lauren Gregory. I go by LG and my major is psychology. I didn't need it for my major, but I wanted to take the class as an elective. I decided to take it because I'm attracted to Eastern religion and the places we traveled were very closely related to that. It focused mainly on spirituality, reflection, and self-examination. The Tao of writing was very interesting, but Journal of the Solitude was my favorite because it inspired me to get more into journal writing. I grew as in writing to myself. I learned a lot about myself and how to interpret my thoughts as through journaling. The final project was cool because we were able to share it with others and get different opinions and inputs. We put a lot of effort into the project, and some of the final pieces were a part of our own personal memoirs. My name is Zachary Daneman, and I am a senior at Berea College, majoring in sustainability and environmental studies with a concentration in ecological architecture. I took the contemplative writing class because I have been very tired of the standard style of classes, you know, very classroom-based, very indoor, very book-heavy, and strictly based on uh, an outlined agenda. And this class challenged that in many ways. There was a lot of room for freedom, and because of that, there was a lot of room for individual growth and individual journeys. People are all on their own paths, and this style of class really honored that. So this class was a portal for that. It really allowed me the time to step outside of fast-paced society and like expectations of the classroom and really just embark on my own journey, figure out where it takes me. Following the course uh, in contemplative writing, I studied abroad in Peru for two months and it really carried over into that. I wrote more in the two months following that, you know, I filled up my journal it was it was really great. I'm Libby Jones, Libby Falk Jones, and I'm a professor of English, Chester D. Tripp, Chair in Humanities here at Berea, and I teach writing and literature and general studies. I've been at Berea since 1988, so I've certainly been directly involved with the course for four years. And the journey of the course for me, though, began much earlier than that. The course is called Contemplative Writing, and it's a writing intensive course. It's a course in creativity where writing is the primary mode of investigation, but where visual arts and music are also approaches that people take in order to become more mindful and develop their creativity. Appalachian writers are a real big reason, too, like why I'm in Berea because I write a lot and I try to publish and try to, you know, do creative writing stuff. I think writing out of just being completely quiet for long periods of time is something completely different than a lot of writers do and it works well. Like contemplative writing, I think, gets a little bit different results than just like plain old creative writing. Sometimes when you get out that piece of paper and you look at a blank page, it's like really overwhelming, kind of intimidating because I used to always want what I wrote to be perfect, you know, like a great poem or whatever, and 
Libby encouraged us to just keep a journal and write our thoughts like consistently. It doesn't matter what it says, just whatever comes to your mind. And the more you write, the easier it will be. And I think that's definitely right. I mean, I filled up a whole journal and I have never done that in my whole life. Spending time writing more helped me feel more confident in writing. I would definitely encourage anyone that got the chance to take this course. I've made friends that I think that I'll keep forever that I didn't even know before.